Hey everyone, so I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to create a Google Classroom. Uh, for the Google Classroom, you have to use your LAUSD email and password in order to sign on. So I'm going to start off by going to google.com and pressing where it says sign in. Once I press where it says sign in, I'm going to use my LAUSD email. I have to put the at LAUSD.net and then I'm going to press next. Once I press next, it's going to ask me for my password, and that is my LAUSD email password. The same thing you use to log on to your Outlook email is what you're using here. Once you are signed into your Google account, you'll be able to see that we have different applications we can use. I'm going to go to the upper right-hand corner on this grid. Grid. It shows me the different applications that we can use. So I'm going to start off here by going to the one that says Classroom. Once you press on the classroom application, um, if you already have a class, they'll show up here. Uh, I have three classes going. I have a sample class, which is where I kind of play with my settings and try to figure it out. I have my kindergarten classroom, and that's actually live going with my students right now. And then I have one that I'm starting where I'm going to be posting how-to videos for my colleagues. So if you want to create a classroom, you would go to the upper right-hand corner and you would press on the plus sign and you would press create class. Once you press create class, it'll ask you for name, section, subject, and room number. You do not have to fill all of the, them out. The only one you have to do is the one that says class name. Um, and this is something you can come back and change later. So if you make a mistake or you change your mind later, that's okay. You would then press create. I'm gonna press cancel because I already have one. But once you press create, it's going to take you to the home screen. This here is your home screen. It starts off by taking you to the stream, which is like a live feed of everything that you've been doing or that's been happening in the classroom. Uh, you also have a class code under the name of your class. So this is helpful because there are two ways that you can invite your students. One way is giving them that code they would follow the same steps we just took and instead of pressing create classroom they would press join classroom and use that code or you can go under people you can add all the teachers you want for your class here and you can also add all the students you want for your class here when you add your students you can type in all the emails you need here um, I copy pasted all of the LAUSD emails over from my roster. Again, it has to be their LAUSD email. Uh, and then you're going to press invite. They will get an email to their LAUSD Gmail account that they can follow and join the class. One thing that I do want to show you is how to turn off notifications and that's just because I noticed that every time I created an assignment I would get an email and um, there was another teacher who started this off with me and she was getting emails every time I created something so if you don't want to get an email for every little thing that's happening you would go to the left hand side next to the class name go to settings and under settings you have notifications email I have mine turned off, that's why it's gray. If I turn it on, I would be getting emails for all of these things. So I'd get an email for when somebody commented on a post, for when somebody turned something in late. Uh, you can customize this if you want, or if you're like me and you're like, no thank you, don't send me all those emails, you can just turn it off. So this was a quick tutorial on how to start a Google Classroom. If there are any other things that you would like me to make a video on, please just let me know and I will do my best to get that out.